Today, from the balcony or wherever the heck we are, uh, we're going to be uh, reviewing a wonderful documentary about an elite athlete who was at the top of her game and then all of a sudden had to drop out during the Tokyo Olympics of 2020. And this is a documentary about her journey to get back to a place where she could compete again. Great, great film. Um, I know you loved it, Art. You've been talking about it ever since. And I loved it, too. It's interesting. Uh, people need to know this is a actually a three-part documentary, two mm -hmm. one-hour shows. The third episode is going to be after the 2024 Olympics this fall. And um, you mentioned the fact that uh, Simone Biles has a, has a comeback. Well... She's maybe one of the oldest athletes uh, to compete in the Olympics. And 2024 is considered another comeback for her. Mm -hmm. So we've been watching the Olympics. Of course, they're over by the time everybody gets to see this. <laughs> and we'll know the results. But what a great story. What a great human story. And, of course, it's not just an athlete. It's Simone Biles. Yeah, She's and by the, by the way, uh, uh, for full disclosure... Uh, our uh, granddaughter, Lane, has uh, been uh, in gymnastics now at a really high level. She's nine, and she's uh, been going through this. So Biles is a name that we know, uh, and there are sure. five or six other really elite uh, athletes. But Biles is a hard worker. She earned her way. Everybody admired her. And yeah. uh, then in the Tokyo Olympics, uh, she, uh, no uh, uh, surprise to anybody because it's been all over the place. She had to withdraw in the middle of the Olympics because she was suffering from something called the twisties. And while it sounds like it's a made up thing, it really is not in gymnastics. It's when a gymnast loses orientation of where they are in the middle of something like <laughs> jumping uh, uh, on a floor exercise or on a beam. Uh, they do all these things like on a four inch piece of wood, uh, six uh, 60 inches or uh, less than that, uh, maybe four feet off the, the floor, and they lose their orientation, and they can't they can't complete a move, and they can get hurt, especially jumping off uh, parallel uh, uh, the, the 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 bars, uh, the parallel bars. Yeah, they, they can jump off and break their neck. I mean, it's really a serious thing. This is yeah. a story the story about how she addressed it, and she did it very publicly. Right. But the documentary is, does a great job at setting her up as a, uh, a young athlete and then has this problem all of a sudden out of nowhere at a competition at the twisties. But it's really it's as I understood it, it was partly mental. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're you're doing a twist and a double something in the middle of the air and you don't know whether you're left, right or sideways. How can you possibly land on your feet? Right. If you yeah. don't know where you are. And and so she goes. The the documentary follows her through therapy, um, and and a recovery, and then back to uh, her comeback. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful um, profile of a and as you say, an elite athlete. But what was great about it was it's not just an elite, any elite athlete. It's Simone Biles, mm. and we got to see her during the 2024 Paris Olympics. Yeah. So that's that was just, it, it was a must. I think, in retrospect, I think it probably won't matter if you didn't see the 2024 Olympics. You're, you're going to love this documentary anyway. Right. I, there's no question, uh, uh, by the time we were watching this, she had already begun to make a substantial comeback and win gold medals in all of the national trials leading up to the oh. 2024 uh, Olympics, so that we'll just leave that to you. Uh, uh, although by the time it watches, if you follow the Olympics, you'll know what you uh, accomplished there. But the important thing is that she basically, as an elite athlete, she could have just gone away, gone on speaking tours. She uh, uh, provided a, a really, really great service for anybody who has a mental health problem to say, you know what, it's an illness like anything else. Go take care of it. Yeah. Okay. She took care of it and she had wonderful results. Uh, but for just the ordinary person, don't be ashamed. Don't hide. Go get help because there is help out there for you. Yeah. 
the uh, the photography and the footage <laughs> of uh, yeah. the, the, a lot of interviews, of course, but the footage of all those competitions, even from when she was eight years old uh, through 2020, and uh, just wonderful. And the editing, this documentary is beautifully edited, so you can follow the story. I, I didn't know much about gymnastics. Obviously, you're a gym rat. Yeah. <laughs> With your granddaughter, you know all this stuff. But I got to follow the story and just a wonderful human story about a a girl who works real hard. Loved it. Yep. So we would highly recommend it. Uh, we're like 11 or 12 thumbs up if we had them. Uh, <laughs> and we highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. Go take a look. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.